Jeff Osborne, and I want to remind you that if you like the music you're hearing tonight, make sure you check out all of the Bodog music artists at bodoglife.net. Captaville receiving last-minute instructions from Bibiano Fernandez. Lee Meehan giving similar instructions to Ryan Brigham. And referee Tony Williamson sets up getting ready to kick off round two of this tremendously entertaining battle. Both fighters a little more cautious. It's pretty obvious to see that these guys are a little bit fatigued from all the action around one, Jeff. Yeah, there's enough action in, in round number one. It seemed like we watched a two or three round fight. The scrambles, oh, nice takedown by Captaville. I think Brigham's fatigue was evidencing itself there. He came in with a very high posture, and it was relatively easy for Captaville to time his takedown and get underneath Brigham's arms, take him to the mat, and pin him down. Now full mount position for Bruno Captaville. Now Brigham, he just absolutely doesn't give up. I mean, he, he's not afraid to take a risk, and that's the kind of fighter that I like to see. He puts himself in danger to endanger his opponent. Yeah, fighters like Brigham, their one-loss records don't always tell the whole story, and this is a guy who comes to fight 10 times out of 10. Now, Bruno Captaville raining down heavy elbow strikes and rearing back for jackhammer, ground and pound punches and elbows. Brigham in desperate trouble. Rolling left and right, trying to evade the strikes, but more and more landing. And referee Tony Williamson brings this contest to a halt. Victorious by second round TKO is Bruno Captaville. Take a look at it again. It's all elementary here. As Bruno Captaville able to secure the most dominant position you could get, the full mount position, and just drops the bomb after bomb until the referee calls a halt to the match. And Bruno Captaville with a TKO victory. champagne bottle against the hull of his mixed martial arts career with a victory was Bruno Captaville and distinguishing himself in defeat was Ryan Brigham. What